this is the first of what's going to be a series of very short three minute videos just showing you basically what i'm going to be doing with my little rescue cult dream so my very first three minute video is going to be all about yielding to pressure it's really important for a horse to be able to yield to pressure because that way they don't get scared when they are in precarious situations shall we say i've had a few times when i've been in situations when a horse has, has become stuck i've seen horses fall over in horse boxes and in trailers and they panic and it's the worst thing that can possibly happen they panic they don't know what to do so they ultimately get very stressed Right, so I'm just going to get... Now, as you can see, he doesn't want to come with me. He wants to be with his stable mates, but I want him to come to me. Now, I don't want to be dragging him. So what I'm going to do, you can see my rope is loose. I'm just going to slightly take up the slack. I'm going to keep taking up the slack until he responds with the slight movement of his foot. Okay? And then I'm going to release the slack. As simple as that. That's all I'm going to do. And that literally is... Stage one. So I'm not really bothered about the leading at the minute. All I want him to do is to stop refusing to come with me and to just walk wherever I want him to walk to. I've had lots of colts, lots of colts over the years and I find them absolutely wonderful. They are wonderful to work with. So this principle transfers to every part of the, I don't know, the more difficult areas of handling horses, especially loading. If you have taught a pony to yield to pressure, then loading is a doddle. A lot of the time when I've gone to help people that are struggling with, with horses that they say are bad loaders, it's not at all, it's just that they haven't been taught to yield to pressure on the ground. Other things that that works and helps with is obviously when you then transfer these skills from the ground to actually being ridden because what do we do when we pull up we gently pull back okay if you're riding western we've got it in our one hand gentle pressure back and they should just stop them because they've learnt to yield to the pressure on the ground you'll see that i've got quite a loose halter on him to be honest, a lot of the time I don't use a halter on him at all. That is the end of my quick first three minute video. And hopefully you'll follow me with these. And I'll show you a few other things. This is also transferable to horses, fully grown horses, obviously. That's bye bye from me and Baby Dream. And I'll make sure that my next video is up within the next few days.